Yo, what's good, YouTube? Uh, a little bit of a history lesson today in today's vlog. Um, I am in Ancaster, Ontario right now. And little be known about Ancaster's slave history and the road to freedom, underground railroad, a lot of them... A lot of Southern Ontario was actually utilized in the Underground Railroad, Harriet Tubman shoutouts. Uh, and this area that I'm in right now was actually one of the first settlements purchased by an escaped slave in the 1800s. And we're at the Griffin House here in Ontario, in Ancaster, like I've mentioned. And this place, uh, built in 1827, I believe. And um, it was purchased in 1837 by an African-American from Virginia who was born into slavery uh, by the name of uh, Mr. Griffin, Enerals Griffin, Enerals Griffin. And this just shows kind of how, you know, how important it is to know our history. And look at this house. See the history of it here. Uh, Enerals was born in 1794, died in 1878, arrived in Canada in 1829. And uh, if you look inside the house, it's basically a dining room, a living room, and two bedrooms. It's so small, built out of clapboards, which is this stuff. Take a peek inside there. And uh, I'm really feeling this door. That door, pretty sick. Uh, this is the other room here. This was pretty pretty dope. Open this up. Uh, there, there. Oh, a salamander. I don't know where the little dude went. And uh, here's here's the back of the house here. So it's really interesting to see like in 1830s, <laughs> people were living here like almost 200 years ago. Like this was a remarkable place compared to living in a slave house. And um, I just love the fact that, you know, Canada has a big role in uh, helping to abolish slavery and um, definitely worth checking out if you're ever in Canada uh, even some some parts of the United States uh, were definitely deeply affiliated with the Underground Railroad so uh, I'm just gonna get a few shots around the area here and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video just a quick vlog here at the Griffin house I haven't been a chance to get inside yet so that will be part two when I can get inside when they're open up next next month or something like that but but yeah, anyways, enjoy the aerials, please.
Thank you.